how do we go from, from the Big Bang? It's really, when you think about it, a very strange situation. The universe being very hot and dense and expanding and filling and turning out full of galaxies and planets and stars and eventually life. You know, how did we get there? How did that happen? Well, something crazy went along to make it happen because our simple models aren't working right now. We're, we're missing a step. It's like a missing link. And we need to find the, the fossils back there in the early universe. There's a missing link that'll get us from the uniform universe to the structured universe we have today. One of the really unique things about COBE is that it's a scientific experiment from the very beginning. It's like taking the instruments in your laboratory or instruments that we flew on balloons or in rockets years ago and putting those into uh, a satellite package and essentially moving your laboratory into space. A lot of things have been done so that... COBE is attacking a problem for which it is very hard to get any good observations. In fact, it's dreadfully hard to get good observational cos cosmological data. And COBE is specially designed so that all the things that might screw up the data or perturb it are, you know, it's put in an orbit which is shielded from the sun very carefully. Uh, it, it, it's kept cold. And a lot of things have been done so that you don't have to correct so much, and you can trust the data better. So the, uh, the, co the, the cosmological information that comes from this, we hope, will be definitive and will, not, you will, will be very hard to argue with.
When we look at the cosmic background radiation, we're actually looking at the dominant form of energy in the whole universe. This radiation fills the whole sky, comes from every direction. And so it adds up to be a hundred times as much energy as comes from all the stars, all the galaxies, all the suns, all the planets that people can see with their own eyes. A um, hundred times as much as that. So it's uh, very important to realize we're looking at the dominant energy of the whole universe. This is the remnant of the Big Bang itself that we're studying with the COBE satellite. Kobe gives us the opportunity to go look in detail at some of the major predictions of the Big Bang Theory. And the hope is that those details will either verify or collapse that whole theory. If we are successful in subtracting out the foreground radiations and definitely identifying a residual cosmic glow, uh, which can be interpreted as the cumulative emission of first generations of stars and galaxies, this is in and of itself a, uh, a most exciting discovery. This gives us direct evidence of an epoch in cosmic history that has not directly been observed before. What the COBE will tell us at the end of the mission and after our interpretations are done is how we got here, how the galaxies were formed from whatever was there before. The COBE mission is worth every ounce of effort we've put into it. Cosmology, as you can understand, is a very difficult problem to study objectively. We are given very few fossils on the beach, if you will. Uh, those few that are present and accessible still to us at this time, 15 billion years or so after the primeval chaos, uh, are worth every bit of scrutiny we can give to them. <laughs> 